We're here, picked up the Rocket Miata from Jeremy Winter's shop. So that's a long story. I'll talk about that in uh, in a minute, but wait, no, here's Jeremy. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? <laughs> so we got no mics, it's just a GoPro. I just felt compelled to, to show you guys. Look at this car. Okay, so uh, in the first place, something is a little bit different. The size of the tire, there's flares, it's been wide bodied, but of course, this is Rocket Miata. There's an LS1 with an LSA blower on this car. It's gonna be ridiculous fun. And um, the reason it was down here is because uh, Jeremy is he a good friend. He got a friend. little overwhelmed. I got overwhelmed and overworked. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I, uh, uh, Jeremy picked up my slack and uh, had an open shop and, and some extra time. So we we did a thing and we're trading favors constantly, which is yeah. one of the great things about a good friendship. Is it's it, exactly, I was just gonna say the same thing. That's what good friends do. He, he needed a hand. He was he he was stretched too thin. He needed help. Yeah. I had the time and I told him, just bring it down here. I'll knock it out for you. Yeah. So. And I'm, I'll be forever indebted to him. Uh, <laughs> we've helped each other out before. You guys have seen it on the TV shows, but uh, but Jeremy, I wanted to just kind of pick your brain. What uh, Talk about this little peanut car. So what we did on this thing is we went through and got rid of the car lot paint job that was on it. The car lot paint How job. How many of them? There was like four car lot paint yeah. jobs. Yeah, there, there was roughly four or five of the car lot paint jobs on this thing. And we went through, we stripped it all down, got it down almost to bare metal. We left as much of the factory uh, primer that we could on it and just kind of built it up from there. Surprisingly, once we got everything down, there wasn't a lot of damage to it. It needed a little bit of mud work, but it wasn't really bad. So we jumped into it, got it done, uh, hit it with a couple coats of uh, polyester, topped it with Summit, uh, Summit Racing Primer, 2K Primer, and he's about to take it home. So on the Summit Racing thing, um, we're working with Summit Racing on this season of hands-on cars, and they've got um, some value line products. And I thought it would be really fun to um, to show what we can do with about 800 bucks worth of materials mm -hmm. from fillers on up to the top coat. So that's what we're about midway on. And when you look at a vehicle like this, you think, well, it's primer. You can't really tell what's going on because there's no gloss to show feedback to see what the panels are doing. But here's an old school trick. You can look at shadows. And I don't know if you can see them with the camera, but you can see the subtle difference between the dark, the spectral highlight here, and then it gets dark here. If you're gonna see, if this panel was damaged, you'd see ripples in that. And it continues on here. I've got to do a minor adjustment on the door. Uh, you know, I haven't even put my hands on this car yet, but I can tell that Jeremy's done a great job in the bodywork, and it's nice and straight and flat. I can tell that because I'm looking at the shadows of the vehicle. You can really tell a lot by the shadows. Am I right? Absolutely. So, you know, there's some panel alignment stuff. We just slapped it back together again to get it back home to Tennessee. But um, I'm just so thrilled with the job that Jeremy did with the car. Um, we had a little minor incident with a tire. <laughs> it was about to come apart. It was, it was a may pop and probably a will pop. But so the good thing is that it happened here and not going through Atlanta traffic. So yeah, much, but, much easier to fix here than on the side of the road in Atlanta or somewhere else. Because somebody got so excited get, coming down here to get the Miata that they forgot to put a spare tire in the back of the truck. So. See, what had happened was... See, what had happened was... <laughs> because... Be because fiberglass. Because fiberglass. <laughs> so not? Yeah. So anyway, just a couple minutes showing you guys the car, but look at this thing. It's just neat, man. It's a neat little car. Uh, Poly Vance did a fantastic job on the rear bumpers. I had cut away for exhaust. Decided to reroute the exhaust too. Right there, because that's just fun. We're going to do some tips right there, but we needed to fill in uh, some some anomalies and some weird mm -hmm. things with the bottom. Polyvance stepped up big time, and uh, the cool thing that comes out of that is that I'm going to go through their training. Uh, we'll see. That'll be cool. That will be really cool. I can't wait. They've in invented their own nitrogen welding mm -hmm. system uh, for plastics. So if, if you guys haven't seen the video that they put out, they put out what in like a minute, minute and a half, something like that Ish. video. Just just a short, just blurb about what they did with the with fixing the bumpers themselves. They went through. They did some sort of a sandblasting. Yeah. It might not be sand. They might have used a different thing. I'm just saying. Mm. Uh, but they blasted the bumpers. They stripped them down. They had gone through molded the plastic in cut everything back in it's it's really neat how they did it just showing showing everything and you'll see more of it in detail on the on the season yeah the bottom line is the car is ready to, to final sand and paint um jeremy is a time bender and and helped me with that so here's the moral of all of this story if you have real friends in your life don't be afraid to ask them for help because they're going to ask you for help if they're true friends the other thing is don't ever be afraid of learning the poly vents thing i've been in body shops for decades i don't know how to fix <laughs> plastic properly now i get to it's, it's gonna be i awesome. don't either yeah. <laughs> i never got on that side of the 
wall. Yep. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. With more of this later, and th big thanks, big shout out to Jeremy Winters from AccuDraft Spray Booths, Booth Talk. Uh, man, I, I can't thank him enough. Dude. Anytime, man. Anytime at all. Cool. Y'all take care. See you soon.